Okay, here's the fish room. Here are the four, actually there's two 55s and these over here are two 50s, I think. Most of these are breeding projects, so they mostly have uh, beer bottom tanks. This first one here is the uh, Bucktu Tetras. Hoping to breed them sometime. They're not that easy. I've tried a couple of times, but I'm not sure if they spawned or if they hit the eggs or not. So I gotta get a setup for them by themselves. Maybe get a trio in there and try it. Uh, try it out again. Here's a grow tank for uh, I think uh, the Pleiadi. Hoping to get a pair. There's five in there. And there's some uh, whip tails in there too, dude. When they grow out, I'm going to put them in that uh, the 135 there. This is another uh, grow out and pair off tank. These are uh, yellow convicts. I think there's 11 in there. So, waiting for them to mature a bit. So I can start seeing what ones are females. This down here is a rescue tank. One of the co-workers uh, have uh, had these guys in a 30 gallon believe it or not. Actually might have been 29 to be exact so he was uh, he had nowhere to bring them so I offered to put them in my 50. Though it's not much of a rescue for these big cigar sharks but it's better than a 30 for now. This setup over here is uh, these are splash tetras and uh, trying to spawn them so I've uh, dropped the water level as low as I could to keep the filter going and put this plant in hoping to see some uh, action so I'll see how that makes out they're getting uh, all these fish all the small stuff was getting uh, freshly uh, hatched brine shrimp and frozen foods this tank down here looks like there's nothing in it but it's uh, reticulated uh, oil wood cats so you don't see them often another project is that uh, I got two pairs of uh, red-eyed puffers in here Fed them for about a couple of months now. I, I've just been sort of conditioning them. I haven't put, I was planning to put some spawning mops and some jav moss on the base here once they get a little bit more established. But they've been eating well. Frozen foods and uh, live earthworms chunked up. They don't mind them. They're just after eating some, so they're pretty small out there now. Female there. Male. Down here are some rainbow shiners. I'm actually getting after a few uh, batches of fry out of them that I've uh, given away or to a couple of local uh, hobbyists or pet stores to get them in circulation because they're hard to come by here. I find that they spawn a lot in this dish here. After they spawn, I'll just take the dish out itself and put it in a small grow out tank versus trying to remove the parents or anything like that. That's just a fry grow tank, nothing in those right now, just keeping them cycled. This is a black uh, black darter tetra tank. Haven't had these long, probably a couple of months, they're doing good. Powdered flake and uh, live baby brine shrimp. This one here is uh, a 10 gallon. It got, uh, again, catfish in, so it's not a very active tank. It's a uh, moth catfish, a uh, hara hara, I believe it's pronounced. There's about 12 in there, believe it or not. A mix of males and females, it's another project. This one here, another, uh, these are the tatias, soil with catfish, so again, you're not gonna see them until the night. Actually, there's one right here. I got uh, two males and two females in there. I recently had these uh, pipes in there, but I didn't have them capped off. I'm through a bit of research and help on the forms. 
they suggest to like uh, cap off a few of them and they prefer to spawn in the capped off one so I sort of bundle them together and keep them up off of sand was another little pointer I was given that's a 20 gallon long this here is more of a an easy project this is my uh, I got a pair of cribs in there I've bred them before but it's just something to uh, I guess uh, late, make me less anxious while I wait for all the maybe harder to breed fish to breed get it out of my system but uh, uh, it wasn't a it wasn't a breed of pair yet, so I'm not sure if um, there's the male up there. The female is one of the rescues that came from my coworker, but uh, she's she's pretty big, so I'm not sure if that male. It's hard way to do business, but I'll see if uh, see how they do. They've been doing okay. They certainly colored up uh, as soon as I added them to the tank. So give them a few weeks and some good food, and maybe they'll breed. And last but not least is a. 75 gallon and uh, primarily species only. There's a couple of Sturbay Cories in there. Um, can't see those right now. But these are my uh, mascara barbs. And they've grown up and colored up a, a good bit since I've got them. I've probably had them now for about four or five months or more actually. And when they came, I was like, I wasn't even sure if they're the right species because they didn't have the colors. but. Now they're, they're starting to get their yellow and some of them you can see the that red ring going down their body so that's another uh, hopeful breeding project. After I do water changes it seems though that they some spawning activity that could just be barbs being barbs but I'll, uh, I'll have to separate uh, maybe six or so of them. They're not that easy to sex right now anyway and uh, maybe get some egg crate or something underneath them to separate the eggs. Uh, but that's it. That's the the fish room. We got a bit of room for expansion for their 75 can go down there. I'm threatening to do some discus sometime, but we'll see how that goes. But anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks.